welcome back to the Mekong Flood and Drought Forecast Channel. This is Mai Chi from the Mekong River Commission. Let's start with the rainfall update today. Over the past 24 hours, some areas in the northern and central Laos and the southeast of Cambodia experienced moderate to heavy rainfall, ranging from 30 to nearly 80 millimeters. It is noticeable that in the next seven days, the free S area of Sekong, Sesan, and Sepok rivers are expected to experience heavy rainfall with a total expected rain of 200 to 300 millimeters. The remaining areas of the lower Mekong Basin are expected to have light or moderate rainfall and isolated thunderstorms. Moving on to the update on flood situation in the Mekong River. Due to the moderate to heavy rainfall last week, the water level at Bang Ta Kok Dang Station at the Sokram River is still over the alarm level. However, this water level is below the flood level by about 0.5 meters. In the next 24 to 48 hours, due to heavy rainfall, it is necessary to keep an eye out for the possibility of flash floods and floodings in the free S areas, as well as the northwest and central of Laos, which borders the northeast of Thailand. Over the next five days, the water levels at most stations are expected to decrease from 0.2 to 1.3 meters. There will be a slight increase in water levels from 0.2 to 0.5 meters for the stations from Chiang Sang to Chiang Khan. It is important to note that the water levels at 22 stations along the mainstream are within the normal range and the overall flood risk for these stations is low. In the Dongle app, the cumulative volume of the reverse flow in 2023, as illustrated by the orange line, has it has continued to increase, but at a lesser rate compared to last week. It has now surpassed the acceptable range indicated by the light blue color. However, the volume remains significantly lower than the average flow illustrated by the black line. The reverse flow in Dong Le Sa plays a crucial role in providing water for the Mekong downstream during the dry season. Monitoring the water volume of Dong Le Sa is essential to stay updated about the water resources available for the downstream areas. The information provided here is meant for easy communication to the public. For more technical details, please check out our websites and reports. This concludes our forecast today. Remember to tune in every Monday to get the latest update on rainfall, water level, floods and droughts of the Mekong River. Goodbye for now!